The Democratic race for Cook County State's attorney may not be settled today. Retired appellate judge Eileen O'Neill Burke is narrowly ahead of the party's endorsed candidate, Clayton Harris III, with potentially thousands of mail-in ballots yet to be counted. Glenn Marshall joins us live from Board of Elections headquarters with more. Good morning, Glenn. Hey, good morning, guys. This race is being watched very closely as for who will replace Kim Fox in that Cook County State's Attorney's Office position. In the meantime, the Board of Elections is saying that this race is just too close to call. The matchup for the Cook County State's Attorney seat is between Eileen O'Neill Burke and Clayton Harris III. Now, Burke brings her appellate judge experience, while Harris would bring his professor and attorney experience to the position. It comes after Kim Fox announced she would not seek a third term as a Cook County State's Attorney. The State's Attorney's Office has more than 700 attorneys, making it the country's largest right after Los Angeles. Now, the winner of the Democratic primary would face off against former Chicago Alderman Bob Fioretti, who recently lost the bid for all office back in 2020, as well as Libertarian Andrew Charles Kopinski. While both Harris and Burke have come out and said they will continue Kim Fox's approach on some issues, there are some differences in the campaigns. Clayton Harris III says penalties for crime should take racial disparities into account, often speaking about his personal experiences as a black man raising children on the south side in the Washington Park neighborhood. He's received endorsements from the Cook County Democratic Party as well as labor unions. Here's what he had to say last night. Throughout this campaign, you have heard me talk a lot about safety and justice. That's what this campaign has been about, safety and justice. The fact that this is not an either or proposition, that this is an and proposition. So we are going to count every single vote and we're going to wait for this to come in. While Eileen O'Neill Burke has openly said harsher punishments should be in place, especially for those who contribute to the flow of illegal guns. She received backing from the top Republican donors, also gaining the most in fundraising between the two, raising just under two million dollars. Here's what she had to say last night. We all want the same thing. We want a fair and effective justice system. We want a fair criminal justice system. We want illegal guns and assault weapons off of our streets. And we are still waiting for the official count of mail and ballots to come in just now, but those votes will be processed and continue to be counted through April 2nd. So it may be a while before we get that official count. I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio.